Hey everyone, in this video I will talk about my experience as an Android developer using the ThinkPad T14 running on a Ryzen processor. So in October 2020, that's when I first bought this computer, this T14. The specific specs of my device are listed in the description below, but in essence it's a ThinkPad T14 with 16 gigabytes of RAM and it's expandable so I can add an extra RAM to the extra slot that I have if I wanted to. Um, the processor is a Ryzen Pro 4750 8-core 16 threads. Um, in terms of storage options, I started off with the cheapest SSD option from Lenovo's website, which is 128 gigabytes. And I think within three months of me using that laptop, that memory card failed. So I actually had to get a new one. Um, I wanted to upgrade it to a larger storage anyway. So I replaced it with a one gigabyte SSD that I bought from Best Buy. Um, I'll link that in the description below. Um, all right, so it's been a total of seven months and this has been my primary machine for work. Um, professionally, I'm an Android developer and sometimes I have to spin up my own Docker yeah. container and run um, a Rails backend. Um, and in, in terms of workload, I mainly work with an external device. So I like to plug in like, a, like an Android phone via USB to the computer. Um, but I also occasionally use the emulator and both of those have been really great. Um, I think there was some initial setup pain with Android Studio, but once that's set up, I'm noticing like really, really quick build times. There is another video that I have on my channel where I compare the Android build times of this T14 and the MacBook Air M1. And this machine is slightly faster than the MacBook Air M1 in terms of compiling and building Kotlin code. Um, however, at the time I was upgrading from a MacBook Pro 2015, so literally build times went from five to 10 minutes to 30 seconds or less. Um, the emulator worked right out of the box. The camera and microphone also worked right out of the box. So um, it was pretty easy to have my video calls on Google Meet. Um, there was some setup issues, as I mentioned, uh, there's, and I think these setup issues have more to do with working with Linux in general. Um, so on Manjaro, um, so sorry, I didn't mention this. So Manjaro is the operating system that I chose uh, as part of um, using this laptop. And the reason I decided on using Manjaro is because based on a lot of the forums, it was one of the few operating systems that were following the latest versions of the Linux kernel. So at the time, only the most updated versions of the kernel worked with this machine. Um, the T14 Ryzen machine was still relatively new at the time and, you know, not everyone had this machine to test and develop on. And so um, I think only the latest versions of the kernel were actually bug free. And so that's why I decided to put Manjaro on this machine. And I think before I hadn't hadn't really used Linux. I may have used Ubuntu for like a few months here and there, but I haven't really used any Linux system like as my primary work environment. And this is my first time trying it out. And yeah, there were some pain points um, with Manjaro. The Hibernate feature didn't work. And I think it's because I didn't set up my partitions correctly. Um, the Zoom desktop app sometimes froze. And I had a lot of trouble getting like a working video editor. Like I tried Kden Live, which seems to be the most popular option for video editing on Linux systems, and that didn't work out of the box. And there was some issues with after editing a video, it threw it freeze. Um, sometimes the brightness didn't adjust correctly. Um, but other than that, these are, I think, in my opinion, very minor hiccups and kind of just come with the territory of adopting a Linux system. and. I think with some extra time, I could figure out these issues by, you know, Googling around, looking at forums and things like that. Um, I've mainly been lazy and hadn't done that yet because this machine has been good enough for what I need, which is Android development, Rails backend development, occasionally use of Docker containers, um, checking email, using Slack, 
and just video calls and all those have been more or less good enough for what I need. Um, and in terms of gaming, um, I don't really game, so I don't really have any advice here. I did play a few rounds of Team Fortress 2 just to see what the graphics would look like on this machine, and they're pretty smooth. Um, the machine didn't heat up too much. I could hear the fan running. Um, I should also mention that before I purchased the T14, I had purchased a T14S, which is a version of this laptop that has uh, a larger battery and it's thinner. And I believe there's one heatsink in this in that one versus two heatsinks on this laptop. And with the T14S, what I experienced was the laptop overheated really quickly and when running any program on the computer or when I was plugging in, it would just overheat like a lot, like touching the bottom of the laptop or even touching the part of the laptop near the power button um, was just really hot. And yeah, it just used a lot of battery really quickly. And so um, I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that it's a T14S and not a T14 um, or it was just like a bad shipment that I received from Lenovo. Um, but anyway, I returned that one and ended up going with this one, and I haven't really re seen any issues with this one. This one, it remains pretty cool. The fan sometimes is on, but for the most part, even through Android development, it's like very quiet. Um, cool. In terms of battery life, it's good enough for what I need. Um, on Manjaro, I was able to get eight hours if I'm just surfing the web or watching videos. Um, I usually have TLP turned on so that's a package um, if you do like sudo tlp start um, you can see what i mean on a major machine um, i was also able to work remotely for a few times um, so here's a picture of a t14 at a park when i was doing some android development and i believe that when i'm doing android development i can get around five hours because the build building kotlin takes a lot of resources and also plugging the device in also takes away some of the battery life because, you know, Android devices need charging. All right, so anyway, overall, this is a really good laptop. I haven't seen any performance issues yet. I mean, it's handling all the workloads that I'm throwing at it right now, which is Docker, Android, sometimes emulator. Um, and yeah, there's definitely a learning curve in order to use Linux. Um, there's, a, there's a specific package manager on Manjaro. There's some setup costs. Um, the touchpad isn't as great as the MacBooks. And the camera also isn't as good as the MacBooks. Um, and the battery life also isn't as good as some of the new M1 laptops out there from Apple. Um, but I think once you've gotten past a lot of the initial troubleshooting with using a Linux system, this is a really solid choice, especially if you're an Android engineer. Um, this the lap the keyboard of this is really nice to type to and the android build times are really really quick and all the other stuff is like good enough for what i need so um i hope that helps and that is all if you enjoyed this video um you can support me by subscribing and if you have any ideas for what you want to see in the next video please leave a comment um, that is all. Thank you for watching.